It is Sunday, which means Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden is visiting with us after all the rain we've had. He is talking about how to deal with those mosquitoes. You know, I read on the Internet that the world's most dangerous animal. No, not bears, not tigers, the mosquito, because the mosquito and the disease that it can carry uh, obviously is is a real concern to all of us. And it seems like this year, just in the last couple of weeks, we're starting to get bit. It was dry early in the season, and then once the rains came, it seems like the mosquitoes have followed. So there's a lot of things that people do for mosquitoes that don't work. And there's some tried and true uh, methods, but there's some, uh, you know, some of the crazy things. And first of all, a few mosquito facts. And this isn't a surprise to anybody. Only the angry female mosquitoes bite. The males just hang over by the tree line, uh, you know, hanging out in the foliage and talking. So only the females bite. They're attracted to our carbon di dioxide as we, you know, exhale that. So if you just stop breathing, you wouldn't get bit. So obviously that's a little inconvenient. So what do you do? Yes, there, and there's certain thing, color, the scent, the uh, lotion you wear, all those things play uh, into if you are a person that gets bit and people go, you know, beer drinkers, number one. Beer drinkers will tend to get bit more. I don't know. Some of the things that are out there that don't work, wristbands do not work. Uh, the little zappers do not work. Uh, plants, oh my gosh, in the garden center, people are after, they're after lemongrass, they're after uh, citronella scented geraniums, uh, some lavender, all the different things because they see that on the internet. Does it work? It's kind of yes and no. So here's the thing, this is lemongrass. It's not really lemongrass, but it's as close as I could find to something that looked like lemongrass. So when you see a mosquito, just have a, br a brick, just have a stack of bricks right by your chair and then just, you just whack it. And what that does is it crushes the foliage and then releases the essential oil and possibly, just possibly, the mosquito will go away. So there is no evidence, and they've done science on this, that, that plants will get rid of mosquitoes. So, and I know that's a disappointment to a lot of people because we want to do things naturally. Now, there is certain essential oils that do work. Clove is number one. Uh, cinnamon oil is uh, number two right there. Uh, peppermint does okay. Oddly, you know what doesn't do very well? is citronella oil. And that's probably the most commonly used citronella oil. You know, we have our little torch here, citronella candles. So a bit of, and there's my coffee, there's a, a little disappointment that uh, the most widely used oil doesn't do a very good job. But when you protect yourself outside, obviously you hear it over and over, use something with deed in it. But a lot of times people have sensitive skin. So if you can't use that product, I would look for those essential oils Look for clove, cinnamon, those are the ones, and you can you look it up, you'll find the oils and how they rate on a list. So the uh, fogging and stuff, this is a natural one that does okay. I, would, I might stay away from those. So cut the foliage down, protect yourself, and get rid of the water pans, all right? Dump the water pans around your property. All right, still got a long way to go.